Here we are the Huawei P40 and P40 Pro are now just 5 days away, and thanks to reliable tips to renown know virtually every last detail about the highly anticipated flagship smartphones, a 6.6 inch quad edge OLED display starting with the largest model first, says the Huawei P40 Pro sports a 6.58 inch OLED display that incorporates extremely thin bezels and a quad curved edge setup, something never seen before on a smartphone. These external changes should ensure the Huawei P40 Pro is no bigger than its predecessor, the Huawei P30 Pro, which featured a slightly smaller 6.47-inch display, as showcased in previously leaked renders. The new screen is home to an extremely wide punch hole. It houses a 32-megapixel selfie camera and a time-of-flight sensor that hopefully enables a 3D face unlock system and benefits portrait shots. A second front-facing camera, likely one that uses an ultra-wide-angle lens for group selfies, is present on the phone, but the exact sensor specifications aren't yet available. The Kirin 995G and fast charging technology sitting at the heart of the Huawei P40 Pro 5G is going to be the Kirin 995G. One of the most powerful chipsets on the market there is no word the storage and RAM counts today although rumor has it the device will offer an 8 of 256 gigabytes configuration as standard the smartphone ships with Android 10 and a Mute 10 straight out of the box. Unfortunately the ongoing trade war between the United States and China means the smartphone won't ship with Google Apps and instead relies on App Gallery keeping the lights on looks set to be a 4,200 4,200 all battery paired with support for 40 watts fast wire charging and 40 watts fast wireless charging although the latter could be incorrect as it may instead be limited to 27 watts with the 40 watts tech limited to the ultra premium Huawei P40 Pro plus 5G model, a 50MP main camera and three other sensors speaking of cameras. Huawei has also made some huge improvements to the rear setup today's report claims that Huawei P40 Pro includes a so-called Leica Ultra Vision system that includes a total of four sensors leading the way will be an all-new 50 megapixel main camera that probably relies on pixel binning technology to produce better photos at a lower resolution this will also benefit Huawei's night mode which is expected to receive some improvements next on the list will be a 40 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. It may have been borrowed from the Mate 30 Pro but could also be an entirely new sensor. Either way the quality should be impressive as for the periscope camera. Augerwald claims the sensor supports a 12 megapixel resolution. The optical zoom level hasn't been reported. 5x zoom is expected but it does support 50x super sensing zoom and stabilization. Completing the entire package will be a time of flight sensor. The latter should improve portrait photography and could be level for our content although that remains to be seen all of the Huawei P40 Pro cameras will be backed up by the Huawei XD Fusion engine to further enhance results. Huawei P40 key specs and differences The standard Huawei P40 will be pretty similar to the Pro branded smartphone when it comes to internals but there are some key changes externally. The OLED screen is now flat and has been downsized to a 6.1 inches. It also boasts a slightly smaller punch hole that includes the same 32 megapixel selfie camera and unspecified second camera. Although there is no time of flight sensor this time around in regards to the camera setup it makes use of the same 50 megapixel main camera however the ultra wide angle shooter has been downgraded to a 16 megapixel sensor and the telephoto is now an 8 megapixel implementation that supports 30x digital zoom and 3x optical zoom the battery has also been downsized to 3800 mA due to the smaller size of the device it will be coupled with 40 watts fast charging and 27 watts fast wire charging. That is all from Huawei and we look forward to see Huawei P40 Pro Plus in feature. Please subscribe for the latest update. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.